Hi, Coach Steve here. Um, I'm just following up on the um, the OWC Thunderbolt dock, the new one that's just come out that allows you to have more than one Thunderbolt port. Uh, you, you basically can bring in a Thunderbolt port and get three Thunderbolt outs. Uh, I tested it with three different drives the, the, in this brief test I did uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, I wanted to show you some things that I've played with since. Right now I have all three of the drives that I covered there. So basically a uh, SanDisk uh, Extreme and a, an Extreme Pro and a T5 from Samsung. And uh, what you see on the screen are the results of running uh, the disk speed test from Blackmagic Design on all three of them at the same time. Um, what you probably would have trouble guessing is which one is the Extreme Pro because uh, the, and I'll show you that in a second, but uh, basically they're all similar speeds. They are slower than a straight up uh, Thunderbolt connection, uh, particularly on my, um, uh, on my uh, Intel based Mac. So the M1 Mac does uh, not go quite as fast and you saw that in the test before. It, it probably you're losing somewhere around 15%-ish of the speed and there's some more detail in my prior video with a you know table and all uh, I'll grab that and uh, put that in here as well so uh, I ran this this is uh, this test uh, and what I found is that if you run individually and I'm going to do that now um, you can see uh, what the speeds look like um, with the other drives not operating so as you may have guessed at this point, this is actually the um, the Extreme Pro. So this is the faster of the drives, a little more premium price. And it's not achieving the kinds of speeds that we could get with um, a dedicate on the Intel for sure. And it's falling a little bit short here of the speeds we got when it was just um, plugged straight into the Thunderbolt connection of the, uh, of the drive. Uh, so... The OWC does slow it down a little bit, um, but it does give you the advantage of having two other ports. So I'm going to stop that real briefly. I'm going to run this one here, which is the T5, uh, and it um, it looks pretty good. Uh, it uh, is delivering similar speeds to when we tested it uh, individually without any other drive hooked up, but right now nothing's going on with those other drives. So that's kind of what you might expect. So the slower speed, uh, slightly slower speed on the extreme pro is a little, little different. I'm going to stop this here. Then we're going to go over here. This is the, um, extreme and it's going to be very similar to the T5. So you get those kinds of speeds. So you can see that you do get a speed premium uh, or, or improvement with the Extreme Pro, but not as much, not a doubling that like you saw in uh, the Intel case. Um, and uh, also close to a doubling when we used it just on um, the uh, uh, Thunderbolt drive of the uh, M1 Mac. So let me show you uh, what happens when we run all three of them. So here's just quick, roughly 430 to 450 kind of range. Uh, and uh, for the first two drives in, uh, it's faster for the Extreme Pro, but not super fast. Now, if we run all three, this gets interesting. Um, this will take a little while to get rolling here. But what you're going to find is when you run all three, actually the Extreme Pro seems to be no faster and maybe the slowest of the three. I uh, don't know why that is. I'm not an expert in all this, but just to give you an idea of what, what to expect if you use the OWC um, for your uh, for your setup. So here briefly, this is the setup that I'm using. Uh, I have a um, I have it plugged in. The, here is the input from the computer. So that goes to the Thunderbolt port and then it gets split out. You've got um, in the back here, uh, you've got power, the three Thunderbolt drives, uh, Ethernet, and I've got this hooked up to my um, ATEM Mini uh, so that I can do switching like this. Um, but that's basically it. <coughs> so uh, let's now, while we're looking back, well, I'll leave that up for, for you to look at. 
Um, so um, now if I look where we are, I'm going to stop it here, and it's a little random where you stop it. But you can see that they're all about the same speed. There's a little, you, you can't even really argue that there's much of a, a, an increase, maybe a slightly faster, 10% faster-ish uh, uh, on the, um, uh, the Extreme Pro Drive but not that kind of doubling of speed. And again, if I had a T7, I'd, I'd test it, or even an X, um, what's it, an X1 or X5, I can't remember. But the faster drives would be interesting to look at. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the dock does give you a, an improvement in speed. So if I uh, hooked up these drives to the Mac, M1 Mac, the speeds would be slower than if they go through this drive by about 10% or so, actually a little bit more than that. So that's a plus with this. The high speed, higher speed drives don't appear to have that benefit. In fact, they get slowed down a bit, probably on the order of well, 10 or 20%. So um, that's, uh, that's an interesting finding so far. So if you wanted to hook up a high-speed uh, high drive, you might do better to hook it directly to one of the uh, two Thunderbolt ports and use the dock to allow it uh, to handle any other port needs that you have. Uh, I don't have that set up here, but I, I guess suppose I could set it up that way. Um, but I like how it's set up for me now. But it is good to know the relative speeds and benefits of these so far. Now, software changes, firmware changes could affect that. Uh, I, I won't know that till uh, I have some time with it. But I hope that's helpful. Uh, I hope you got some useful information out of it. Uh, and if you have any comments, questions, you like it, you don't like it, let me know in the comments. And uh, see you next time.